as Bitcoin is currently trading at 8,934. It looks like things are starting to begin to steam up for the bits. Things could be taking a turn for the better here on the coin market caps. Shout out to all the crypto maniacs worldwide. It's Champagne Crypto, the voice of the blockchain here. Satoshi's biggest cousin, cryptography's finest. Make sure you are kabooming the like button and subscribe buttons worldwide so that you stay informed with the good crypto word. We're here daily, although I have taken a break in the past a uh, week or so, uh, taking some time off with the family while the market was cooling off. But things look like they may be taking a turn for the better. And uh, the bits are starting to heat up. Today, we'll be talking about the top five altcoins going into summer 2018. Uh, we do have price predictions here personally uh, for a $1 billion market cap overall for all the cryptocurrency market caps for 2018 headed into 2019 which could put bitcoin over 30,000. Uh today like I said we'll be talking about the top 5 altcoins going into summer 2018 in our opinion. Uh if the bits will take a turn for the better, uh we know that the rest of the altcoins follow suit and some may even kaboom more than bitcoin has already. Uh, let's go down the list and check it out. My number one pick as an altcoin going into 2018, and I think this is the hottest coin right now, is EOS. EOS is currently number five on the coin market cap, currently trading at $11.75. EOS is a, somewhat of an operating system that will allow users to launch decentralized, decentralized applications on the blockchain. This will be a direct competitor to Ethereum. Now, although EOS's blockchain has not yet launched, they do have an ERC-20 token trading on the Ethereum blockchain, which is basically an IOU for when the real blockchain launches sometime this summer in June, I believe. Uh, there is a process of registering those EOS tokens in your Ethereum wallet so that you could uh, be credited the actual tokens uh, when the blockchain launches. There's plenty of videos out there that explain how to register your tokens. You could do it in the Exodus wallet and Champagne is planning on doing a video explaining how to do that as well. But EOS, guys, I think is a boomer. Uh, the community continues to grow. There is some speculation as to whether they're actually going to pull it off because to be honest, they're still on their ICO phase. All of this is just a promise. It could go north, it could go south, it could stay where it's at. We just don't know. Now, me personally and the boomers worldwide are definitely bulls when it comes to EOS. Uh, you could check out EOS Go, the forums of EOS Go. This is a blockchain community that seems like a lot of the people that are interested in participating with the EOS community moving forward are gathering here at EOS, uh, forums.eos.go. They also have a YouTube channel where they're constantly uh, interviewing people that are involved with the EOS community. I recommend it uh, that you check it out if you're interested in EOS. EOS, again, um, EOS has held its price from the all-time high of $18. Right now, it's at $11.75. It's lost only 37% from its all-time high compared to some of these other coins that are, have lost 50, 60, 70, 80. Some have lost even 90%. So we've seen EOS retain its value quite well. Moving on to number two, Monero. Monero, Monero is currently trading at uh, $279. It's number 11 on the coin market cap, and it's down 43% from its all-time high of $495. Now, Monero is holding strong out there. Monero, uh, you know, it never boomed completely like Bitcoin did, but it steadily gained value. It rised steadily on the market. Uh, it rose steadily, excuse me, on the market. And, uh, you know, I believe that Monero has value because... Uh, you know, it's arguably the only true cryptographic coin left out there, guys. Uh, I know some other coins out there, they provide privacy, but they're not tried, true, and tested like Monero. Monero has held its price better than Bitcoin has as far as its all-time value. Uh, it's only down 43% from its all-time high of 49 uh, 495 as opposed to Bitcoin, which is down 55%. So, you know, technically, if you would have held on to Monero, you would have retained your value better than if you would have held on to Bitcoin uh, this past, uh, you know, seven or eight months or even year. 
um, if you ask me. Moving on to number three, Litecoin. Litecoin, you know, I have a love-hate relationship with the lights out there, guys. Litecoin is currently trading $151. It's down 59% from its all-time high at 375 Number six there on the coin market cap. Uh, they were supposed to launch the Light Pay in February, okay, which was uh, some sort of a uh, upgrade to the Litecoin network. Uh, which will allow users to pay easier with Litecoin. I don't know the the uh, details on that, but uh, apparently it failed. And uh, add that to the fact that the owner or you know the the head developer, should I said, uh, Charlie Lee, the head developer Charlie Lee of Litecoin, uh, he dumped all his Litecoin back in December. He dumped all his Litecoin back in December. He abandoned the ship. He said that he's still with the team, and I see him still tweeting out there. But Charlie dumped the bag. And uh, we're still here holding on to the rest of the ship as the captain abandoned us. Uh, but I do think that Litecoin has uh, placed itself in a position to be a viable alternative to Bitcoin. It's fast. It's, uh, you know, has the Lightning Network. And uh, there's, you know, a lot of people have been working on it for some time. Uh, I think the intent of Charlie Lee and the developers is a positive one. And, uh, you know, I don't think they have an ill intent. I think they're trying to do the best they can. Although, you know, I may have disagreed with some of their movements, including Charlie Lee dumping the bag. But I still think Litecoin could kaboom uh, this summer. And, uh, you know, perhaps it's advisable to hold it. Perhaps. Don't take my advice. I am not a professional. I'm just a cryptomaniac calling it how I see it. Moving on down to the list. Number uh, four, Neo. Uh, number four, NEO. NEO is currently trading at $76. It's down 60% from its all-time high of $196. NEO is often referred to as the Chinese Ethereum. This is a Chinese coin that is directly competing with the Ethereum network. Uh, they're allowing users to write and launch decentralized apps on the NEO, NEO network. NEO was formerly AntShares last year. They rebranded. Uh, they came out as the NEO token. And uh, another positive um, feature of the NEO coin is that it's a proof of stake coin, meaning that if you uh, keep your tokens in the NEON wallet and just for keeping your tokens there, you'll be getting receiving staking rewards in the form of a second token called the GAS token, the GAS, the GAS token. And that token is also worth something as well. So not only uh, will are you able to perhaps uh, participate in the rise of the value of the NEO coin and gain some profits there. Uh, you know, you also could receive gas tokens if you are staking the NEO coin in the NEON wallet. I like that. And uh, it seems like NEO has a community behind it that uh, is positive and they're, they're in it to win it, apparently. Uh, moving down to a number five, Steam. And I've talked about this often here on this channel. Steam is a decentralized social media blockchain which allows users to earn for their social media activities be it posting uh commenting uh re-steaming or retweeting uh, uh and whatnot you get paid for your uh, author rewards and your curation rewards uh in my opinion steam it's one of the most valuable blockchains out there and if i'm not mistaken it has more transactions uh than bitcoin and ethereum combined steam uh, you could check out Steam.io. Another uh, good feature of Steam is the smart media tokens, which will allow users to launch another token on top of the Steam network and use the Steam blockchain technology to create their own community. So, for instance, if uh, you know a website like the New York Times wanted to have their own New York Times coin and uh, monetize their um, content and their social media following, they could do so by launching a smart media token on the Steam blockchain. Jane, uh, you know, it's still uh, something that's new. And uh, I believe there's a, an ICO for the first smart media token called the Apex or the Apex. And that hasn't come to its completion yet, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm interested to see where this all heads out to the smart media token feature here on Steam. It smells like a boomer. Now, some notable mentions here are uh, Ethereum competitors and decentralized exchanges. I think they're going to look hot. Uh,